Well, good morning, everybody. We're dealing with some storms already coming into our western areas, bringing in heavy rain lightning. So far here, we haven't had any severe storms come into our area, but of course, I'll be watching that as we progress through the morning. Thankfully, it's just heavy rain and lightning, not exactly what you want to see during a Monday morning commute. You can see this line advancing down I-16 and toward I-95. Let's take a look at where these storms are right now on the Farrah and Fair first alert live radar. Heavy rain and lightning Swainsboro to Oak Park down moving into Vidalia just went through Glenwood. Timing this out, these are moving at about 30 to 40 miles an hour. Timing that out will make it to Metter at about 712 to Glenville at about 8 o'clock in Shawnee just after. But I'm expecting these to lose a little bit of energy as they make it toward I-95. Of course, I'll be watching that for you as these progress over the next couple of hours. Now, within that, there is a marginal risk of severe weather. So that is one out of five on the convective outlook scale, just like yesterday. Heavy rain lightning could have a couple stronger storms. We're going to have that rain chance stick with us here through the morning, die down a little bit around lunchtime and then pop back in here this afternoon. These more isolated storms, but they could be stronger. Now, right now, looking out over Savannah, it's actually a nice morning, but looking off into the west, you've got darker skies. That's when we then see the mostly cloudy skies turning to a little bit of darkness with lightning temperatures then into the uh, upper 70s. By 10 o'clock, the warmth of the day kicks in. Looking at that future radar, showers and storms continue to move into the area by about 9 o'clock. So if you're an early commuter for I-95, you lucked out. But then this afternoon, more of these isolated storms pop up. We could have a couple small hail storms this afternoon. And then as we get into the evening, still a chance for these isolated downpours to hang out with this. But the severe threat goes down after we get past sunset. I've got more on the rest of this week's forecast coming up after this quick break.